Suarez is a beast. Tatiana Suarez has got some wrestling. Oh, look at that! This is where Tatiana Suarez makes her money. I don't see anybody else overwhelming people the way she's doing. They just can't stop what she comes with. Oh, oh man. A lot of people think we're looking at a future champion. Look what she's doing to the former right now. She's mauling it. Tatiana Suarez! Holy cow! Stunning! That's what you get when you're world class. I'm Tatiana Suarez. I'm the number two ranked strawweight in the world. I'm just getting my day started. Um, I had some breakfast. I'm a little under the weather right now, but the show must go on. I still have to get my training in, and I'm getting ready to walk my dog, just like me. You know, I get a lot of exercise every day, so I have to make sure that they get their exercise as well. Let's do it. This is Strudel. Uh, he doesn't know what's going on right now. Um, he's like, who are you guys? Relax, it's just a camera. My boyfriend and I, um, we both train dogs, which is really interesting, because we both fight and we train dogs, so that's like really weird um, how that worked out. But um, I like dog training because it's very therapeutic for me. I feel like it's a little, it's quite opposite than what I do for a living. You know, I punch people in the face, and this, I'm very loving and caring. Let's do a spin for sure. I feel like it's gonna be funny. Good boy! You're so smart! Wanted to see something funny? Strudel, catch! <laughs> All right, guys, we just got done training the dogs, and now I'm headed to training. The dogs got their training in, so now I have to. This town's like little Mexico. It's like all the, all the stores, like the supermarkets are all like um, Mexican stores. You can definitely feel the vibe. Like I can be a little bit closer to that side of me. It shows me a little bit more about my culture and my heritage, which I really like. I grew up in Azusa, California, which is 40 minutes away. My grandma, my mother, and my uncle, and my cousins still live there. I'm not very far from them. My brother lives in La Puente, which is around 40 minutes away from me as well. Pretty close to home, but I moved this way. LA traffic, um, it's, not, it's not the greatest, so I didn't want to make the drive every day. We're headed to Millennia MMA. My gym's only around 15 minutes away from my house. I've trained there since I started my MMA career, uh, which was like six years ago. This is my gym, and I'm never gonna leave. Every Monday and Wednesday, we spar at 12.30. First workout of the day, we made it. The thing that I like about Millennium MMA is that it's not a huge camp. You don't always have like random people coming in and out of our camp trying to train with us just for a couple of months. These are people that are always there. They care about your well-being and your success, and we all care about each other. And I think that's you know that speaks volumes. I'm gonna go home a little bit, get some food in me, rehydrate, refuel, and then come back later on. Hey guys, I'm here for my second session of the day. After my last practice, I was feeling really run down just because I'm sick and I'm feeling under the weather. But if anything that I got from you know my experience going through cancer was to keep fighting and you know not allow my mentality to change, it's always to stay the same and positive, keep a positive mindset. So here I am, back at it. I'm about to go in there and work hard. Three, two, one, and work. I think I've been pretty dominant in the octagon because I've been doing wrestling for a very long time and I think where other people may get some nerves, I don't get any nerves. Where some people may have some inexperience in terms of the grappling, I don't have that inexperience. If she starts really resisting and pulling her head up, just level change and go. My coaches have done a really good job transferring me over to MMA and having me evolve into an MMA fighter. Dirty boxing, knees, whatever you want to do. 
A lot of people talk about maybe my stand-up game and how I don't use it as much. Um, and that's just because I go towards the path of least resistance, you know? So I'm gonna go towards what I know, what I know well. Beautiful, there we go. And if somebody stops my takedowns, then I can use my stand-up and get back inside and get back to the takedown. I always try to get out of there with the least amount of damage that I could possibly have. Again, it's real like that. I just finished my second session right now. I did some drilling, uh, wrestling drilling, clench drilling, and jiu-jitsu drilling. And my next class I'm about to hop into right now. So my third session is jiu-jitsu with my coach, Romeo Ron. I just finished my last workout of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Thank you for following me. I'm gonna go home now, get some rest, and then do it all over again. Be sure to tune in to my fight June 8th in Chicago, UFC 238 against Nina Ansaroff. It's gonna be a great show, and I look forward to putting on a great performance for everybody. I'm gonna get the job done.